Hi! In this video I will show you how to make an auto retopology of your model with instant meshes. In this case I have a scan of a statue from Jeffrey Marshall. It has 500,000 faces and we are going to have 40,000 faces at the end of the process. First, we are going to need our model on the format OBJ or PLY. I'm going to select it with right click, I'm going to File, Export, OBJ, and I will select Selection Only to export only the selection, and I will export it. When the export is done, we are going to install Instant Meshes. For that, you are going to go to the link in the description and you are going to enter the GitHub of Instant Meshes. You are going to go down and here on Precompile Binaries, you are going to select your OS. So Windows, Mac OS and Linux. In case of Linux, you will need the software Sanity for it to work. In my case, I use Windows. You click Windows and you will download the binary of the software. So you extract it and you launch Instant Meshes. And when you open Instant Meshes, you will have something like this. I am not going to go over every detail. Instead, I'm going to try to keep this video as simple as possible. So to open your mesh, you are going to click Open Mesh and you are going to load your OBJ. And here we have our scan. With right click, you can pan to view and with left click you can orbit around your model. Here on Remesh As you have the different algorithms for the remeshing. In this case we are going to start at quad 4x4. Here on Targex vertex count, this is the detail that the mesh will have after the auto retopology. So the lower the number, the less number of faces that it will have. In my case, I'm going to put it at 10,000. So the first step is to click Solve on the Orientation field. And this is going to generate those lines in our mesh. With this tool, you can draw lines over your mesh. And this way, the topology of the red topology is going to follow or try to follow those lines. If you want to move or pan around again, you have to disable the tool and then move and you can enable the tool again. And now we are going to solve the position field. And here you have an approximation of what our mesh is going to look like. And you also have this tool to redirect the topology. So we are going to export our mesh. If you want your red topology to be made up of quads, you click Pure Quad Meshes. But this is going to generate more polygons. If you want, you can also smooth the topology a little bit with the spotting iterations. So you need to click Extract Mesh and you will have your mesh. Now of course this is automatic, so it's not perfect. But it will save you a lot of time if you need to make something fast. For example, here you can see some issues, but those are the issues of an auto topology. So we are going to select save to save our topology. We are going to put a name and you also have to add point obj to the name unless you want to get an error. Great, so now here on Blender, I'm going to import my red topology. I am going to disable the default, so the high poly, and here we have it. If we go to the edit mode, well first we are going to have the amount of faces, 40,000. And as you can see, we have a lot of blue lines. So let's say for example that we want a smooth shading, so we select smooth shading. You will see that we are not able to get that kind of shading. So for that we are going to select all the faces with A. Then we are going to press Ctrl E and we are going to select Clear Sharp. 
all right and then those blue lines are gone and we have our smooth shading now I'm going to make an auto unwrapping of my model and I'm going to export it and now I'm going to take this to Samsung Painter to make the detail from the high poly to the low poly if you want to learn how to do this I have another tutorial on how to quickly export a sculpture from Blender to Substance and perfect here we have our model on Substance Painter Thank you for watching. If you liked the video and you want to support my channel, you can like the video, share it and subscribe. If you want, you can also give me money by buying my courses on Udemy and Skillshare, and you will learn something new in the process. Links will be in the description. Thanks and bye.